Okay, go away. Hey guys, my name is Boy Wayne. You might know me as Boy Everything. Today I'm going to react to some videos. Um, this guy's going Yeah, no, I, I got it. Pepperoni, ground beef, ground pork, and extra cheese. You want a double bypass with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's coming right now. Remember that game you used to play when you were a kid? No, not that game. <laughs> the other one where you and a friend would see who could skip the stone the farthest out across the lake. <laughs> well, hold that thought. <laughs> this is Stinky Peterson's Island. They say no man is an island, but in Stinky's case, we're prepared to make an exception. <laughs> Actually, Stinky's away for a couple of weeks. He asked me to look after his business for him. Pizza delivery business. And Stinky's got a real unique way of getting them out to you. He sticks them in between a couple old wheel discs. And then he fires them out to you across the lake using that skeet thrower. He can only deliver to houses, you know, on the lake. But that prevents his business from getting so big, he can't handle it. This pizza here is for Dalton's daughter, so I just gotta aim it at his place. Stinky calls it a pizzeria, but it could just easily be called a skeetzeria. <laughs> and every pizza comes with a guarantee. No more than 30 skips or it's free. <laughs> and pull! Point about to become the number one tourist spot in the area. I think it's up to the residents of Possum Lake to make those tourists feel at home by taking as much of their money as possible. And the best way to do that is by selling them overpriced food. So today on the Handyman Corner, I'm going to show you how you can make a portable snack counter. <laughs> you know, today's urbanite, everything is go, go, go. So you want to sell them anything? You got to be on the go yourself. That's the beauty of this unit right here. All you need is a piece of kitchen countertop and a couple of old seat belts that were just wearing a hole in the back of your pants anyhow. <laughs> and you're all set. You just pick her up and you can follow your tourists down the street or even into the woods preparing food as they check out the various sites. <laughs> Next step, pick up yourself up a bunch of these uh, small appliances which you can get at a yard sale or whatever. You might get an old toaster or one of these uh, hot air Popcorn popper units or a camp stove, or, you know, you get the idea of it. Now, if you need, uh, you need electricity for some of these because they're electrical appliances and they use that type of thing, uh, what you want to do is get yourself uh, a shopping cart. Now, a lot of the seniors use these, so they're easy to borrow or whatever. <laughs> and what you want to do is open that up and uh, fill that up with some of the car batteries. And then uh, you want to cut, uh, cut the handle here right in half so she'll thread through your belt loops. Makes it easier for towing. <laughs> now to, uh, to connect the, uh, the, uh, all the appliances onto the counter, we could drill holes and bolt them in there, or we could uh, glue it on some sort of polymer uh, adhesive there, but that would probably ruin the uh, marble laminate bake stuff. So instead, we're going to use the handyman secret weapon. Stop. Duct tape. <laughs> now she's starting to take shape, isn't she? Got everything laid out here just the way I want it. Got the popcorn maker there at the end. I got the toaster next to that. They're both sitting on top of my microwave oven there. That's all plugged into the batteries, of course. And I got the uh, camp barbecue, kind of a neat little thing. Briquettes are a little scary. And over on this side, I got the uh, deep fryer, and I got the crepe maker. I got the donuts there. I got the drinks, and I got a little hot plate over here, and I got a little uh, hot chocolate cappuccino or something. And this here are the tap holes. I'm not real neat here. Ideal for the condiments. I just reach down underneath, give them a little squeeze. Got myself some ketchup. Want to add a little mustard to that? No problem. <laughs> Let's fire her up. Not any fire is a bad word. <laughs> oh, there, I got her working now, and I can follow those tourists anywhere they want to go, making food for them. Even if they're not on the go, they certainly will be back to eat this stuff. <laughs> so, if women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Here's cooking at you, kid. <laughs> Hi, 
Alright, so that was what green so or oh, hunting man's kono as you probably you might have not known. It's funny. I watch them all the time. But yep, it was a video. Hopefully you like this new link I'm using. It's called a free recorder. And it's actually working really well. I actually really like it so.